Hello everyone, Rizzy Toothpick here, back again with some Alan Wake 2 as Saga here. We finally got the crossbow bolt. We're going to try it out, see if it's strong. We haven't really tested it. Like I said last episode, I went back and got that one bolt, so we are good to go. Um, I am hearing whispering, which is no good. But it looks like we're going to come up here. We're probably going to go uh, right to go check all this out. Where the hell is this guy? This is a perfect uh, chance. Okay, it takes a while to reload. My goodness. Do we get the arrows back? That's going to be the, the big question here. Uh, it should be coming. Oh, I didn't put the... Oh, God. Okay. Let me go here. Let's quick slot this. Oh, uh, over here. Okay, so it does not save crossbow bolt. Good to know. We don't get them back. Maybe if we missed. So is this another weapon we can use? Not the strongest, at least not yet. It's a guy with a backpack there. Well, here, let's let's figure him out. It's kind of dark, but I want to sneak up on him if we can. see so if you hit them in the head they might go down okay okay so the crossbow if you get close maybe that headshot i gotta see with the, an enemy that might have the um that red little circle thing on their back i gotta see if the headshot will put them out or not But, you know, maybe this is a, ni a really nice weapon for us to test out. Let's just check on the map here. Okay. Terry's Cuckoo Clocks. Actually, we're kind of low on health. There you go. Always something special. All right, I think we might have another puzzle here. More of those rhymes. Three little deers ventured to Rome and found a nice place to eat and play. One little deer never came home, and two of the deers cried all day. That's not right. Maybe here. Hmm. Okay. So we did what we needed to do. One of the deers didn't come home, so I'm guessing. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Where you at? I said I don't know where he was. He's over here. Let's say, come on down. It's dangerous to try shooting with the bow because I might miss. All right, back to pistol. 
There he is. Uh oh, he's still alive. All right, back to pistol. Oh God, there's two of them. I was not expecting two. Damn. Okay, got rid of one. There he is. Come here. Got your name on the shotgun. He's running about. Oh, he's coming. Damn. Took it like a champ, but back to pistol. Okay, this Easter egg over here or the lunchbox thing. Got him. And there's the deer. I'm never going to get used to this. I can use this charm on my bracelet. Of course, he didn't have nothing. But as you can see, we have these charms, so there should be some weapon fragments uh, somewhere. Wouldn't be up, would it? Well, there is a ladder. Oh, no, no, no. It's going to be over More here. Of those kids' lunch boxes. I lowered my rifle. Standing on the car's roof, I looked out at the carnage. The zombies had almost won, but luckily I was here. Heroes are sometimes the people we least expect them to be. Now my time was finally safe, thanks to me. I slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time. Hopefully for the last time. The townspeople cautiously emerging from their hiding places surveyed the same carnage I saw and cheered my name, and I waved and they cheered again. Now I could finally get back to my quiet, unassuming life, reading books and gardening and fiber crafts and being the world's top mycology expert. Suddenly, a hand seized my wrist. I looked into the eyes of the sweet, sensitive writer I had known since childhood. A smile spread across his beautiful, kind face, and I felt at peace for the first time since the zombies had first emerged. You did it. I knew you could. Now we can live in peace together for the rest of our days. Alrighty. Let's reload all of our weaponry. Oh, God damn it. Headshots do one shot them. Okay, good to know. There you go. Even with the uh, the red thing. And we did get the bolt back. Or he dropped one at least. Increases resilience against being staggered or interrupted. Ooh. Yeah, well, we'll keep it, but that's neat. So now we know the strength of the crossbow. Headshots, instant death for enemies. And with that taken care of, I think everything's done here. So now we can move back. I'll say turn off the flashlight, sneak up, shoot him. For wolves and stuff, I like to kind of hit him with the shotgun once and then the pistol for the remainder. The crossbow doesn't do a lot of damage. Maybe a headshot puts the wolf down too, but they move so quickly, it's so difficult. It's probably not worth it. Now we're in a whole new location. Water. Flooding. Always keep an eye out on our map. Might be a cross bolt hidden out here. Love the sound of frogs. Maybe more frog croaking would have been nice in this area. Just because of all the water. That and maybe some crickets. Okay. Oh, more eggs. So another... 
Another lunchbox. Anything else in there? Nope. And another lunchbox. Hi, Hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fan fiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online, and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. Alrighty. It's a house flooded. Might be symbolizing uh, how she lost her daughter, but apparently she's been living in a trailer park. So how do I know? Alright, but real quick, let's look at all our stuff. Got some more case stuff going on here. Figured all this out already. So this goes here, and that goes there. Oh, nice. She's doing it herself. Let's do some more. Wakes says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Good. More stashes. These are watery area. And as you can see, Bright Falls is probably going to have some problems. Maybe that's a, uh, a hint to what's to come that maybe shouldn't have happened. Alrighty, good there. More nursery rhymes and watery. Uh, let me see here. I know there's a section for dolls. <sighs> and more of the lunch boxes, which are found in watery. Not bad. Let's go to weapon fragments. Let's look here. Let's go with that one. Saga strained to pull the string of the crossbow back as far as she could. To her surprise, the latch adjusted to accommodate her. The next bolt would stop a monster. Alrighty, so now that might do more damage to wolves and stuff too. Who knows? But I'm more comfortable with that. So if we get a good shot on an enemy with the crossbow, we should do pretty decent. And with it being more accurate, we could get that headshot. Crow. Bad omen. Some more fishing going on here. Check the map real quick. Nope, not missing anything. Porter Polly's bodies, huh? Oof. Especially down here with it being like so humid and with all this water. Man, hopefully it's not hot because if it is, it's going to stink. Going to have that uh, aroma. Is there anything we want? Well... We'll put the uh, the deer over here for now, and we'll bring you back. Quick save there. More manuscripts. Scratch stalked through the forest. A terrifying dark presence in the night, more sense than seen. 
darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him, his army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head, waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy, filling them with his purpose. The clicker, he wanted it to make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. Dang. So they really out here gonna mess up deer fest. Man, I don't want that. I mean, it's probably super strong, but... I got so many of them. We definitely need to start using them. If, if we if we get attacked by more than one, I'm going to use it. Yeah, let's heal. That's a pretty good one. Hello? Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Did right. they take and get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Yeah, I think we need Elmo to go to the, the gift key shop. Is kept in the gift shop safe. So that means we go the opposite direction of said gift shop. Coffee World Review Notes. Pros. Coffee themed names for the rides. Mildly amusing. Nice view of watery from the top of the Ferris wheel. The mascots were trying their best. What else? Okay. Coffee. Cons. Rickety rides. Creepy mood. Money hungry owner. They killed the poor moose. Two out of five stars. Why did they kill the moose? I wonder. Well, it is rickety. I won't give him that. Another cult box. Only striped cups. Oh, okay. So a four. We just gotta wait here. Seven. Should be one more. What is that one? There it is right there. Four, seven. One. Well, it's probably like seven, four, one. There we go. We can give it a little second. We'll get it. Ooh, nice. Shotgun shells and everything. Do not take what is not yours. How do you know it's not mine? Reality and fiction has been all messed up. We're sorry this toilet is temporarily out of business. What the fuck? All the toilets are out of order. Get your shit together. Literally. Alright, let's keep on moving. Go a circle around this building. More man, yeah, all the porta potties out of order. Locked. 
Need something to jimmy it open with. A list of maintenance work. Okay, so we can collect something. Hey, the lock is jammed again. I forced it last time with a screwdriver, which has disappeared again. Put shit back when you use it. A screwdriver? Huh. Logged maintenance. Copy world entrance sign defaced. Cleaned with detergent wax sign. Should be good until someone tags it again tomorrow. Slow roaster pot is stuck. Won't swing. I hit it with some WD-40. Seems good for now. Fallen tree near Latte Lagoon. Should probably call the tree guy. Chainsawed and removed. Keeping the wood. Several burned out bulbs on percolator. Replaced and ordered more bulbs. Squeaked on L Latte Lagoon car B. Tighten the bolts less bad now. Percolator control panel jammed. Removed front with screwdriver. Found a penny in there. Alrighty. I'm guessing we can now figure out where the... Let me see what I'm looking for here. I think we know where the screwdriver is now. The clicker, he wanted to make his horrific ending. And that's for later, perfect. Coffee, Coffee world. world. The most caffeinated place on earth. And yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Very strange. Alrighty. This will help us out. We already found all the information. Ah, oh, come on. Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. Alrighty, but now we know what to do. Alright, so we went all the way in the circle. Let me kind of come over here. We already came up there, so now we just have one way to go. Oh, actually, one and a half. Oh man, nothing in there. Yeah, a whole bunch of out of orders. How many are out of order? It's like only one of them. I think we need to go to the percolator. But I kind of want to check out over here. The Espresso Express. That sounds pretty cool. The Hoteri Well from 1913. Legends say this is a dwelling place of the evil water spirit, the Naki, who lures people to the watery graves. In the early days of watery's history, this very well was where Amari Hotori hid the bodies of his victims with the help of his brother, Chakopi Hotori. It was only after... Damari murdered his own brother that their gruesome acts came to light. But was it madness or the spirit of Naki possessing Damari that drove him to murder like he himself believed? Is there more to this well than meets the eye? So is there more going on here? I mean, we can't go in there, but it's got it open like we might need to go down in there. Another locked box. What hides behind the smile? Okay, so we got to find something smiling at us and then look behind it. Must be locked from the other side. All right, so we'll come back here later. The only good thing is I'm not really hearing any monsters or enemies right now. So this is a really nice time to Kind of explore the area. A fuse is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. I don't know why you'd want to operate the ride, but we'll see. Oh, uh, let me see. Sometimes they try to trick you.
more batteries. No power. Must be a fuse box around here somewhere. Well, there are numbers here. Which means that there's more than likely a puzzle that's related to this ride. And there's the smile. Oh, the mayor was here. When you ask, Mayor Seta will speak. Oh, you know what? Okay, so the um, the talk host. I mean, I didn't really pay attention, but maybe the mayor is like the talk host. Like, he's the scratch guy. He's just kind of like hiding there. Possibility. One morning during Coffee World's construction, a wounded moose was discovered taking shelter inside the, the Fresh Pot gift shop. Though limping from a leg injury, the willy moose proved too quick for wildlife rescue. After long and unsuccessful chase, everyone stopped for a much-needed coffee break, brewing up some of the coffee's world's finest. Before the first cup was poured, the moose appeared drawn by the delicious aroma. He allowed himself to be treated in exchange for a streaming mug of what is known, now known as Mocha Signature Blend. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. My dogs are outside and one of them was crying. I had to go out there and see what was going on. And I'm lost. I do not remember where I stopped, but... Before, before the first cup was poured, the moose appeared. Yeah, I remember that. He allowed himself to be treated in exchange for a steaming mug of what is now known as Mocha Signature Blend. Since then, Mocha the Moose has become a beloved fixture of Coffee World. Welcoming guests from across the country, as well as personally taste testing each of our roasts to give them the Mocha Seal of Approval. It's pretty cool, though. Is there anything else I missed there? Kinda. A moosing mocha fact. Mocha is around 6 years old. Did you know moose can live up to 25? Mocha weighs 820 pounds. Do you know moose are the largest species of deer in the world? Mocha loves to swim. Do you, do you know moose can dive up to 20 feet underwater? Mocha's favorite drink is coffee. Did you know that mocha is the only known moose with a caffeine addiction? Alrighty. But yeah, we, we got a few dogs. We got three dogs. They they go outside, but they're usually inside dogs. So when one of them's crying, usually something's going on. But I think one of the other dogs kind of stepped on the paw or something. They, they'll do that. See you, Latte. Pretty cool. All right, so what's behind the smile? I'm assuming it's this one. It's got that big smile going on. Oh, we got a little light here. Okay. And just to be warned, when we find the next uh, save point, that's when we're going to stop. Because I do not know how long this video is going to be now. I had to take that break. But I think, I think we're, we've been playing for a while anyway, so it should be fine. What's behind the smile? I'm assuming it was this guy. Thought it was. Oh, here we go. Got the key. Perfect. It wasn't technically behind behind him, but it was, you know, further. It was like to the left of him. But that's fine. We'll get this uh, thing opened and we'll see what it has. Oh, nice hunting arrows. Oh, all types of ammo. M and T were supposed to be on patrol last night, but didn't show. If anyone hears anything from them, let me know.
Man, this is actually working out really well. Getting a lot of ammo, a lot of goodies. There was some dropped popcorn, so you know something terrible happened out here. Ah, we went that way. Let's go this way. Kind of takes us all back to the same way. Worker layers that way. I think this was the other direction we could have went. Because, yeah, it just takes us back there. This is like a big old circle. Balloon pop. $2 for 5 bolts. Hit a balloon to win. I'll take that. Man, I don't... Here, let, let's see. Okay, well, at least it uh, gives our arrows back. I don't know if we get anything. Break a row to win. Keep on hitting the wrong button. Must have hit them all. This game's a cheat. I can't hit him to save my life. Okay, so the percolator is where we're probably going to find the... The screwdriver. Jesus! <laughs> Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. A happy pot of coffee. Okay, nothing there. Only problem is we are running out of inventory space. Oh, wow, it's like a giant pie there. I feel like once we get the screwdriver, we're going to get attacked. So I'm just trying to get all the goodies before then. More out of order. They're all in the bathrooms. They're just like waiting. They're like, has she found the screwdriver yet? And they're like, no, not yet. Okay, we can't go that way. Good. We just got this giant pie. Nightingale would probably enjoy that piece of pie. Eat it to the center and there might be a surprise awaiting. Okay then. Oh damn. Okay, it just opened up for no reason. Damn. Uh oh. This is not a good idea. Okay, gun it is. I say, go down, please. Oh, okay, hold on. That was a little cheating, don't you think? Open. Got the screwdriver though. Alright, you drop anything? No, I don't think we get to him. Okay, let me go back to the crossbow. Let's see if maybe we can find the, the bolt that we lost. Don't think so. How are we on health? Let me see if we have the painkillers. We do. 
Mm. Yeah, it's fine. <sighs> All righty. Uh, get the bolt out. Okay, well. Here comes another. Ooh. Mister. Where'd she go? He's on caffeine. I was like, quit going back and forth. Okay, she didn't really drop anything. Let's go back to our crossbow. I definitely need to get that upgrade where we can have two of them, just in case I miss. God damn it. I mean, do I need to kill this guy? Do I really? Like, I don't think so. Oh, he's going to the percolator. He was talking about it. He's like, I'm all fucked up, but percolator's still cool. Alrighty, we are in. Now, where is that safe? Close the door. Never mind, get the manuscript instead. Don't listen to me. Sorry, we're at a Bright Falls blend. Anna apologized to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking. Realized she was standing next to the Huatari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. So there's a lady in the well. We'll see if we can do anything about that after, you know, now that we know. Oh, there's a knife just chilling there. That looks dangerous. Like someone's going to fall and like hit it. Locked. Okay. What would Ilmo use for a code? Why did you change the damn password to the safe again? I thought it was lookout, fix your supplier. Who hurt you? Well, why are you so paranoid, Jacko? Calm down. This one's easy. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. See, not rocket science. Hey, Ilmo, heads up. Got another angry voicemail from a parent about their kid, her kid poking himself in the eye with one of the souvenir Pucos, whose grand idea was it to sell kids plastic knives in a coffee-themed amusement park anyway. All right, it was yours. Jeff, I need another moose favor. Mocha was doing just fine. He even got a glowing vet report, and then bam. They say it was a heart attack. I'm not blaming you. Maybe he just had a bad ticker. No tolerance for stimulants either. We're telling the kids that Mocha's taking a little vacation, but I could really use your help ASAP to maintain continuity. Do you have any more in stock? Thanks in advance. Coffee World staff. Hope they're not all monsters now. Uh, they probably are. News of the week. Remember to bring your liability forms for Tuesday's Bring Your Dog to Coffee World Day. The photos so have that? stickers on them. Oh, okay. So the beans are probably numbers. Congratulations to Thomas for completing his first year at Coffee World. As usual, the wor this work anniversary earns you a free packet of freshly ground coffee. The percolator is unfortunately undergoing maintenance, but don't worry, we will fix it as soon as possible. Got you. So now I know how we get the stuff here. 
Let's start from the top. Cold stashes. Easy. Cold of the tree. Oh. Not that one. Who's involved, maybe? Millingen and Thornton? Okay, so we can profile them. I need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzle, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yaku. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Eason. Alrighty, safe combo. I'm assuming these all go here. Maybe it'll, it'll tell me the code so I don't have to like go back and forth trying to figure it out. I bet Elmo is the kind of guy who likes Sudokus. Nah, damn it. Nope. I have to go through the whole process here. Okay. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Tracker. So the maintenance is probably cleaner. So it's probably six. Or it could be janitor. But six either way. Tracker. Lookout. Cleaner. So maybe it's like one, four, six. Right. Alrighty. The keys to my trailer. Now to find the clicker and the colt. So we're done there. Do we want to go towards the whale? Yeah, there's a point of interest. What was the point of interest there? Let's find out. I'm like, what am I missing? It's over here. Right, right next to us here. I want to say we got it, but it's a shoe. The world tilted. They wait. They wait. Shadow shifted in the God damn it. General Thor. Give me a second. Pretty easy there. Yeah, I don't know what this person of interest is here, or point of interest. Now the whale, we know someone's fallen in. So that makes sense. really do anything about it though yeah 
Yeah, we already read it. This is broken. We need a fuse that we don't have. I think we're going to come back here later. And then with that, um... Let's go see about the exit. Which is kind of where we need to go. I guess we don't have to go all the way back to town. Ah, uh, yeah, we reread that. Unfortunately, they had a or the moose died. Kind of sad. Okay, which way to go? Looks like it doesn't matter. Let's look out for anything. Kind of hidden about. Oh, here we go. Eggs. There's another lunchbox. You can do anything you put your mind to, hero. So long as what you put your mind to is part of the story. Yeah, we definitely want to upgrade our crossbow. To be able to shoot two bolts. That's our big goal. Oh look, a, a porta potty that's not out of order. Just might not have a door. Okay, the lighthouse is that way. And I'm assuming the trailer park's over here. I don't think we need to push towards the lighthouse just yet. Of course we could. Well, I think it might block us out. What's that way? Okay, that's the trailer park. That's the night workshop. Let's see if it'll allow us to go all the way down. Because I'm pretty sure. Nope. Let's just turn around. I need to head back. Nice. Oh. Alright, let's see if we can go into the workshop. Might not allow us to because we have to come here maybe later. Can't open this with my bare hands. No. Looks like we gotta have an item. Oh, damn, that thing popped open. Oh, this takes us back in here. Okay. A little shortcut now. Nothing there. Might be some more weapon fragments back here somewhere. Another one of those lunch boxes. Oh, yep, right there. Perfect. So we're here for. It must be so exciting to be the story's hero. Honestly, I'm a bit jealous. I wish I could be the protagonist or something. Everyone's the protagonist of their own story. Perfect. Saga realized the crossbow could hold two shots at the same time. Had she just not noticed before? Or had the weapon changed somehow? Like in a dream? That's what I wanted. No. This is Jim Figamore. Remember? Now we are happy campers. 
All right, no more exploration. This video is going to be pretty long, so let's go straight for the uh, trailer park house. And we'll uh, find our next save point. And then we've done a, a quite a bit of for Saga here. We might play as Alan just to kind of progress in his story, you know, 30 minutes or an hour and go back and forth between the two. Oh man, there's a damn pathway right here. Where's this going? Okay, this is taking us to the the trailer park. So we'll see if there's something down this path. The page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. Marisetta is not afraid of the rough questions. Well, I don't see him around here when there's cultists around. All right, and here it is, the save point. So, let's get all this taken care of. Go in the lunchbox. Move all of these. Kind of happy with everything right now. Really happy now. But we're going to stop here. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. And next time we will go into the trailer park and try to figure out what's going on.